You know how sometimes you just can't find the right color, glitter, glitter combinations? Well, on one of my last trips, I've discovered the Poddle. This product makes it easy for us to combine a whole bunch of things that we love in one place to create these. We are going to create that look and I'll show you how we got it. Let's get started. So at my latest trip to Vegas for the International Beauty Show, this cute little booth, I was just walking along and this girl sort of peeks her head out and says, Susie? And there's one thing I like more than nail technicians and product is a nail technician that invents a product. And that's what Nettie has done. It's a great little picture of us. Catch this one. So what she has done is she's taken away a problem that we have at the salon is when we're trying to mix things, because we do do that for nail technicians. We get the gel or nail polish, whatever, and we mix our own little concoction that we sort of custom design for a client. And you can do this too. So she has invented this, and let me show you how cute this is. Okay, so I'm just going to open it. Now, don't forget this is in here, this mixing stick. See that? That's important. And then the bottle itself. So you have the lid. And then this unscrews from the base of it, which is the key part. And she's got two little beads and it's a little glass dish on the inside. The reason why this is so cool is because how often do you want to paint a color that you want, but it's not mixed in the bottle and getting it into a tiny little, like this, trying to pour your glitters and everything inside this little entry is not gonna work. So that's why this is so cool. So we have this dish and there are little beads in there in case you wanna shake everything like I do. I like to shake everything, okay? Those little beads in there will help mix whatever you're gonna pour into it. So let me get the other one. She's got two, a white one and a black one. And another little stick. I guess it's a glass mixer. I feel like a little chemist, really. Okay, so we've got two. Let's just separate. I'm gonna mix two colors. Okay. Okay, so the black one and white one and the two little lids. And here's our little base. I don't think I'm going to use the beads. I'm going to take the beads out now so I don't have to clean them later. But I don't really need them for this thing that I think. So what it allows us to do is mix whatever we want in there. Whether you're going to like build your gel with all your glitters and colors, whatever you're going to do. Or nail polish. In this case, we're going to do nail polish. I don't know what color to pick. That's why I'm glad I have two. Because I think we're going to mix two colors. So this is my little mixer. <laughs> I love this. This is great fun. Okay, so now we need we need clear nail polish. You can start with the color if you want, but I want the clear because I want to be able to see all the glitters and stuff that I'm going to put in it. Now, I will say when you're mixing stuff, just be careful you don't mix too much because if you use all the clear here and you find that you don't like the mixture that you've mixed, because mixing stuff is a bit of a trick to it. There is an art to it. So just use maybe a little bit of it and mix what you think might be nice. I'm just gonna use a little, because if you don't like it, you can always wipe it out and chuck it away and start again. But at least you didn't waste a whole bottle of clear. And I'm only gonna do two coats on my hand, so I don't really need that much anyway, right? I'm gonna mix one at a time, but you know, I'm still undecided what color I'm gonna go with. So let's take the white one. And I went and got a bunch of glitters and stuff. Now, this is the home thing. So I just got some of these glitters at the craft store. Usually, if you're inlaying, if you're going to file glitters later with acrylic or gel, you want to use a cosmetic grade. But because this is just going to sit on top and we can remove it with nail polish remover, we're not filing it off. You can use the stuff from a craft store. I just had so much fun looking for all the glitters and stuff. So I won't take too much time taking them all out because I want to get to my little mix in here. These make great sounds, but look at, they just kind of come out in a tray here. I just went nuts. Look at all the glitters. And then this one is a super fine glitters, which might give me more of my color. Ooh. So look at that. Ooh. Okay, so um, 
I'm thinking kind of a peacock greeny blue kind of color. So I'm going to take this one and this one and maybe this one and a little bit of deep. I don't know. I could be just making too much. I don't know. I don't know. And then, oh, I'm going to get me glasses. Well, let's just start there. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. Oh my. And again, I'm not sure how much would be too much or too little. I do this mostly in acrylic. And then I inlay it with another clear capping. So this is a little bit different. I'm not, ooh. You know, this one is even called Peacock, so I kind of nailed that right. And then I'm gonna throw a little of this in. This is too much fun, okay. Now I'm gonna stir it up. Oh my. Oh, this is really pretty. <gasps> oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I just noticed when I was looking at the side of the bottle, she says a little thing on the side here, works like a bottle and fills like a pot. Pottle. Very smart, Nettie. Well, this is pretty just like this. I don't know if I really want to add anything, but I like putting stuff in it. So I do like it just like that, but I'm gonna add a few of these just to get some textures and a bit of dimension with different sizes. Oh yeah, look at that. My own creation, just like that in a matter of seconds. Okay, wait. Now, if you're really, if you really like that, because you can't go back. Once you add it, you add it. You could separate this and put it aside. So you got to be sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this. So. Yeah, I like that. Oh, wow. This is too much fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nettie, you're going to have to send me some more of these. Cause, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am working with nail polish. Now, nail polish dries as soon as it hits the air. So I don't want to waste too much time because it's going to start drying. So, although it's looking pretty good. That is gorgeous. Okay. Oh, and so you can clean off your little stick. A little bit of nail polish remover off there. I love these little crystal, crystal wands, I think it's called. It's adorable. Okay, so let's put our little pot together. And I'm going to put the brush in there. This is the time where you could have, even though I've mixed it up, if it's going to sit in there, you can put your little bronze beads back in there because then it could also just keep it. There we go. I love that sound. Okay, now let's get a look at it. Okay, so let's check out the color that we just created. I'm gonna get some, oh, you know what? I didn't put a lot in it. Remember I said I was trying to be sparingly and that's the price I pay. So it's like a half filled bottle of, of nail polish. So, you know what? I can say to myself, I'm not gonna not use this again. It is absolutely gorgeous. So let's fill it up, right? I know I love it. Let's let's just make a full bottle. I find too, once I wear it, my clients love what I wear. So they often will wear what I'm wearing. Okay, so let's just top it all up with what I had in there. This combination, I definitely would say it has created the peacock feel. And I had these, remember? I really love those. Okay. Let's give it a final shake. And I'm gonna see what it looks like. 
Oh, I missed the opportunity to use my little wand again. I'm not used to that. I do like that though. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's paint it on the thumb. We made an amazing color. Look at that. This is gorgeous except for the cat hair. He is actually sleeping in here in the room with us. Now, it is chunky, of course. I put a lot of stuff in there. I really taxed that polish. But all I will do is, if I was to leave the polish to dry just like this, it would feel a bit bumpy. So when it's all dry, I would just put another top coat on top of it. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna try one experiment. I don't know if this will work or not. I'm gonna just try it because we're mixing stuff at home. Just to cause any, like, like make a little bit of a clear, a little bit more solid. I have this eyeshadow and I've seen makeup people do this all the time. So I don't use this color. I just bought this palette actually for um, pride. So I could have lots of little pride colors. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to pop it into here. That's where I can use my, oh yeah might work and it might work but I might not like the look of it so hopefully I didn't ruin this whole thing okay so now I'm gonna get my okay so what I'm hoping that will do is add um, some color into the clear so that it'll make the clear a little bit more solid. Let's try it. I mean, I don't even really need the lid right now. I could just dip it into there and just like that. Hmm. It didn't really tint. Maybe I just needed to use a lot more of it. Wow. That is gorgeous. Okay, I love this color. Let's mix a lighter, like a pink or something. And then for the reveals, I'm gonna paint both my hands for both of the reveals in both of the colors. And we can decide which one we like better. Okay, I did notice that this, I think the insert here, you could just clean it up so easy. That's what we can do when we're done too. I had so much success with the first one and liking it. I'm gonna take that to the shop and I'm sure the girls are gonna love it. I am gonna make a fuller bottle, a pottle, because uh, it is gorgeous. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking pink tones with this. What do you guys think? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just let me remove this off of here. Oopsie. If I remove this off of here, then I can use it as a tester, right? And it's just nail polish again, so you just see that? It just comes up really easy. Okay. Mmm. Pink. I'm gonna put a bit of pink and a bit of white in there. Oh, I just can't. I'm gonna have to put a ton of this in there. I can't get enough of that. That is stunning. Let me put my blue ones over here and my whitish pink ones over here. And I've got two glitters. I think I like this one better. It's got a little bit of um, iridescent kind of hollow kind of things in there. Ooh, maybe I'm making it too full. Okay, oh, and some people like these. No, actually I don't like those as much as I like these. Oh no, no, these ones. Yeah. 
Oh, this is too much fun. I, I could do, I know this is not supposed to be. I know this video wasn't gonna be super long, but I could do this all day. Oh, that's beautiful. But you know, I could make it more solid. Maybe a little bit of this to give it a little bit more intensity of the pink. Let me just try a little, just a little. Oh, yeah, that gave it a really different color. I know I'm looking at what else, but this has a pretty tone to it. See how I drift into one color into another? It is endless, my friends, absolutely endless. Okay, maybe I just better call it. No, I gotta see something else here. Maybe just more of these, maybe more of these. I do like the color that it's got in here, so you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Call it a day. This is what I like here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay. Now I'm going to put the beads in there because if I don't, I'm going to lose them. And I'm going to keep this color, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be using it in the future. So I'll want the beads in there so I can mix it all up. Now what I am going to do though, just for my own self, is I'm going to clean the edge of it so when I close it together, it doesn't seal on itself. Nail polish bottles will do that, right? If you just make a messy bottle, it will do that. So I'm gonna clean it because I really don't want this to seal itself together. What I also like too is you can label these little things. You can put your little Susie's Peacock and Susie's little Cinderella mix, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. Look at that. Oh, let me just shake this one up too. I've got two beautiful, beautiful colors that are totally custom made. I made them all by myself. Okay, so I'm gonna polish these up. Okay, let's look at the pink one. Beautiful. Very gentle. I thought it was going to be stronger being that I put that purple in there. But it's actually very, very light. Okay, I'm going to polish these up. So you can see the endless combinations. I just use like, what is it, like seven or eight over here. And even in different combinations, if I use these together, I create, you could, it's, you get it. <laughs> you could go nuts. Okay, like I say, I'm gonna put two coats of the color on. Also, I will say that when you're using clear, this could also be a glitter that you add to another color. So if I wanted more intense color, I could put a coral uh, pink on here or a red or whatever color you want, and then put this glittery kind of on top. We do that a lot around Christmas time and New Year's for customers. Oh, I wanted to mention, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to show everything I show you, whether it's sponsored or not, it's stuff that I really think is great. And this product is no different. I came across this and I really want to share it with you guys and show you what's going on. I also really admire somebody who's really put herself out there and invented something. It's pretty cool. So 
so pretty. So one thing I do want to check, this is nothing toward the product or anything. I'm just curious, do the glitters settle as the bottle sits there for a bit? I'm curious about that. I want to see, does it settle or they just suspend in the, oh, it really doesn't settle. Look at that. This one's been sitting longer without being disturbed. So let's see what it says. No, nope. look at there. That one's a mess though. Look at the mess I made. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and polish this the blue color, but let's check out the reveal shots. We made this all by ourselves. Cameraman and I got a little jiggy. <laughs> that was a fun photo shoot. They turned out absolutely beautiful. And Nettie has offered my viewers 15% off if you guys are interested in the puddle so you can mix up your own stuff. Susie Love is the code and Cameraman will put it in the description box below. But if you have some time, let's do some questions. Oh, and I've got my new kit apron. If you guys are interested, it's nailcareer.com. So Shaylee asks a great question. Can you put acrylic on natural nail to support it if it's broken? Absolutely. That's how I discovered some of my first clients. They broke a nail. They got it fixed. I put the acrylic on it. They liked it so much, they got the other ones done. That's And I developed a clientele that way. So absolutely, if you've got a broken nail and you want to patch it and to get it by to grow it out a little bit, or if it's feeling uncomfortable or short, definitely, definitely is the way to go. Okay. And Jenny says, hey, Susie, out of all the hybrid gels you've tried, which one has the less peeling? That's a great question. If you're experiencing peeling, Jenny, it's most likely not from the hybrid gel. It'll be from the curing process. It's not newt long enough. If you're having trouble with, the, with it actually curing properly that you're actually peeling, it's maybe not the right lamp that goes with the product. Every company that makes a hybrid gel will have a recommended lamp or they'll actually make one that goes with it. So make sure if you're doing it yourself or whoever you're going to has the compatible lamp. That'll be the problem. It's not cured maybe long enough or using the right particular lamp. Good question. Kathy, I have never seen you with a dust collector, lady. Are you anti-dust collector? How do you deal with all the dust? Actually, I don't have one here on the set because if I was to have a fan going with the, sucking up the dust, it's really very loud and I would have to really yell and we just, it's too much. But in salons, when you're working, you can have them in your um, towel, in your desk. You can build them right in your desk. There's some great companies out there that make some really great extraction fans. So yes, I'm totally a fan of them. I just don't use them here in this. When I'm working all day long, I have some type of extractor. That's, that's a good thing to have. Okay, and I also wear masks too. Well, thanks guys. That was great questions as usual. I can always count on you guys for some amazing questions. Well, thank you for joining me. And I'm so glad we get together to do all this fun creating stuff. It's like school or it's like, you know, creating, <laughs> cooking class. Thanks guys. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you guys in the next video.